that Trump has paid a $9,000 fine levied against him for violating that gag order. All the while, the former president remains steadfast with the media outside the courthouse, taking shots at the judge, saying that the trial should not continue. For more on this, we're welcoming back civil and criminal defense attorney Mark Reichel. Mark, thanks so much for making the time. Oh, thank you. As you're watching this all unfold this week, what were the biggest takeaways from Hope Hicks' uh, time on the witness stand? Well, it was interesting. I think it's, it's something the jury is probably looking forward to because it's got to be interesting to keep your attention. And she was she reluctantly hurt the former president. I think every juror there can see that she still cares about him and feels close to him, was uncomfortable having to release against her will some evidence and some facts. And, you know, it was no silver bullet or something that's really going to drive the straight through uh, the defense. But she did have to admit Basically, catch and kill was so important and had to admit that, it, you know, it really was significant to bury these stories, to deny them and get rid of them, which is the kind of the umbrella that the prosecution has and underneath it, they're going to say. And then he made false business entries to, you know, keep that conspiracy going. So she did her job. She did her job. And it seems like the specter of this Access Hollywood tape sort of loomed over uh, the proceedings this week. I, I also want to ask you, the jury heard a recording of Trump and his former lawyer, Michael Cohen, allegedly talking about a hush money payment. Let's take a listen together. I told you about Charleston. Um, I need to open up a company for the transfer of all of that info regarding our friend David, you know, so yeah. that... I'm going to do that right away. I've actually come up and, I've spoken, to and I've spoken to Alan Weisselberg about how to set the whole thing up uh, with so what are we funding. Mark, when you heard this recording, what were your first thoughts? Like everybody, first of all, most of us are surprised an attorney tape recorded his client, which is then allowed in a trial that's already been ruled on and dealt with. However, it's damning evidence. I think that's the big stuff. You see all these, you know, like I say, celebrities and national inquirers coming to testify. When it comes down to it, uh, you know, trials are about facts and relevant facts to the crime. And the crime is here. Did they pay hush money to influence an election and then make illegal business entries, creating an LLC? getting the money to Mr. Cohen and dealing with a legal expense is really all this is about. And that tape, to me, should be the uh, final straw. I would use a closing argument if I was the prosecution. It's going to be tough to come up with an explanation around that not being um, with knowledge that you're going to make a, a business entry about that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.